Boy, this parcel has probably been sitting in the background of my videos for two months now, but you know what time it is. It's a manga haul. Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. So today is a manga haul. I'll say this is an anticipated manga haul as this manga parcel has been sitting in the back of my videos for probably two months now and you're probably thinking why haven't you unboxed it yet and you know I'm super busy but another thing is because if you know how big this room is it's actually tiny and um, if you can see here you can see all five of my colossal editions all stacked up like basically Every time I unbox a manga parcel, I have nowhere to store my manga as I don't have a bookshelf yet. I'm just waiting for lockdown to ease so I can get my bookshelf from Ikea, you know, all the hassle and that. But um, yeah, it's been long and awaited, but I'm finally ready to unbox this parcel and I'm excited. And I hope you guys are too. Also, I want to mention there will be a giveaway announcement in a couple of days. So keep your eyes peeled as it will drop out of nowhere. And I hope you're excited for my giveaway as there will be four winners two from the uk two for my international viewers whether you're from asia europe america africa the caribbeans wherever you are okay as those will be gift cards but um yeah i hope you guys are excited before we get onto this video please give this video a like comment and subscribe you know the drill and click on the bell so you're notified okay and also feel free to use my affiliate links for blackwells and amazon down below whether you're buying manga your groceries books toys whatever okay feel free to use my affiliate links down below if you want to support this channel and its future giveaways so this parcel I have here is actually from traveling man and if you don't know traveling man already it is my go-to website to buy manga ever since lockdown I would say as if you can hear here there's a lot of packing peanuts inside out of all the manga websites out there I would say traveling man is up there next to black Wells. this is my go-to website to buy manga they have the best prices the shipping is just fantastical you know like um yeah other than black wells i'll say traveling man is right up there i'll say um yeah definitely recommend you guys to shop from there although their manga selection is limited they do have some great series if you want to pick them up and also if you spend over 50 pounds you have free track delivery through dhl so I'll say that's amazing. Anyway, enough with the rambling. Let's get on to this unboxing because boy, I'm excited to see what I got in here as it's been two months now. So I don't really remember what I got in this parcel except for Spike's Family Volume 3, which I have a duplicate of um, as if you haven't seen my collab with Geeky Dreams and Cape Town Says Manga, that was amazing. That collab was so wholesome. Geeky Dreams basically got me Spike's Family Volume 3, but I do have one in here which I'm going to add to the giveaway. So stay tuned tuned if you want to win yourself a spikes family volume free um but um i was gonna say yeah let's start this unboxing um from the sound of it sounds like there's lots of packing peanuts and it is a bit puffy if you can see it's a bit puffy i'm praying that the packing peanuts don't come flying out of the box but let me do the other side well okay oh this is satisfying oh there we go. Bam! Voila! Voila! Okay, it's my invoice. Let me just cover that up one second. Hands down, Travelling Man never disappoints. And I really can't wait until lockdown ends so I can just go up north and just go to the actual store because their service is just immaculate. And like, it's just, mm, you know, all these packing peanuts. My manga's protected. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I sound like I'm being sponsored right now, but I'm not. It's just my real opinion. Like, I'm just so happy that Travelling Man exists. Like, the prices is just top notch like everything is amazing but let's get on to the haul so the first manga i see is Requiem of the rose king volume 8 so this is what the cover looks like for Requiem of the rose king volume 8 the spine and the back and looking at it in person the cover art is so beautiful like definitely Requiem of the rose king out of all the manga series i read i think they have one of the most beautiful cover arts and just the art style in general 
and yeah I can't wait to read this volume really excited if you haven't heard about me talk about this series enough already this is a series that is one of my favorites and I'm so happy that Geeky Dreams recommended this to me ever since Geeky Dreams recommended me this series like I haven't gone back this series has been amazing I like how this series is set in back in the day England you know Game of Thrones style historical political all that good stuff like dark fantasy I will say yeah this series is a dark fantasy or dark shoujo definitely recommend you guys to read this I'll show you guys the first pages if it's not a spoiler let me see actually so this is the character intro page and then um yeah can you see it's set in back in the day and uh, let's see the next page I think the next page is fine yeah this is stunning okay I really can't wait to read this I would like to show you guys more but there has been some comments saying that I'm, I'm spoiling a bit too much and showing a bit too much so I'm trying to be more cautious with my hauls now but um yeah if you guys haven't picked up Reckon with the Rose King already this series is a great one I would say if you're into dark shoujo or dark fantasy or even Game of Thrones this is a must read this series is based on William Shakespeare Henry the Sixth do correct me if I'm wrong because I'm bad at my numerical number readings but yeah Henry VI and Richard III by William Shakespeare this series has a beautiful art style and also if you don't know it's coming out with an anime I think later on this year if not next year do correct me if I'm wrong but I'm super gassed about the anime I don't know how they're gonna do it but I know it's gonna be awesome because this series is just yeah boy but yeah, that is Reckon of the Rose King Volume 8. So the next series I see in this parcel is Spy X Family Volume 3. And oh, this is such a good series. Um, if you're not into shonen manga, you're more of a shoujo reader. I feel like this would be a great introduction to shonen manga if you're a shoujo reader. Like, it's so good. Like, the characters are just amazing. I love the plot. It's so funny and cute. Like, I'm going to flip through some pages. Hopefully it's not too spoiler but to be honest I haven't read this volume yet but um yeah this is what the character introduction page looks like this is what the front cover looks like and the spine and the back and I just can't get enough of this color it's so beautiful and I love the character Yo as well she's the assassin the fake wife but um yeah the main character is basically this guy called Twilight and he is a spy and he has to create a fake family for one of his missions since i haven't read volume 3 yet i don't know too much about what this volume is going to be about but from the blurb it looks exciting so it looks like yours younger brother yuri is going to pop in for a surprise visit and also on the back you can see he's a secret service officer from what i can remember i believe yours brother is actually on a hunt to find the spy who is twilight so twilight is now yours husband well fake husband so I'm curious how this volume is gonna go down it's gonna be an exciting one but yeah this volume is gonna go to one lucky winner for my giveaway so definitely stay tuned for the giveaway but um yeah that is volume 3 of Spy X Family I don't know if I can show you any of the pages hopefully the first couple pages are not very spoilery but yeah this series is one of my favorite shonens definitely if you're not into shonen series this is a great one to start with and yeah this is very fun my favorite character is Anya who is the adoptive girl in the series who is also telepathic and I just like how the family dynamic is but yeah I think volume 4 is coming out in a few weeks if not is already out already but yeah this is a great one and this volume is going to go to a lucky winner for my giveaway so the next series I got from this parcel is the promised neverland volume 17 and look at that cover that's so cool so this is near the end of the series as this series only has 20 volumes and it's complete I think volume 19 and 20 is coming out really soon as I do own volume 18 which is coming on the way um, but yeah I'm super excited to reread the series if you guys didn't know already this is a series that I binge read on the Shonen Jump app and I loved it it's absolutely phenomenal I will say this is my favorite series I've read of all time and that is crazy you know I read a lot of manga but this really topped it off for me like I can't thank enough for all of you guys for recommending me this series especially Anne Chan as well she was the first person to recommend me this series when I started off this channel and this was oh, I don't know how to describe it but when I read the series it felt like I was a child again and I was reading my favorite book like that's how it felt and it felt like I was on an adventure as well when I was reading this series which um 
I don't get that a lot, you know, when reading a manga series. Um, normally it's a good read, but I never get so sucked into the point that I did with The Promised Neverland. Yeah, if you haven't read this series already, I 100% recommend you guys to read it. You can read it on the Shonen Jump app, which is very cost friendly, or you can collect it. This series is amazing. And um, yeah, like I can't believe um, a lot of you guys actually haven't read this series. I did an Instagram poll probably like a few weeks ago, and only 40% of you guys read this series, I believe and then the rest haven't so I'm quite surprised but I know a lot of you guys have been watching the anime which season one was it was so blessed it was so good it did the series well however season two let me add the poo emoji right here okay um, I'm gonna insert the poo emoji everywhere here season two is trash okay I do not recommend any of you guys to read it probably after reading the manga maybe give it a go don't watch season two because it's gonna spoil the series so much and they just skip so many volumes i can't believe they skipped the goldie pond arc like that was the oh and i can't believe season two literally skips my favorite characters like they don't exist so um i'm pretty pissed off about that not gonna lie so i'm not gonna watch season two but um i'm sorry that i did a bit of raging there but um definitely read the manga and forget the anime only watch season one season two yeah that doesn't exist in my head okay um i think it's actually complete now season two and i refuse to watch it i tried to watch season two i think the first episode for probably i think five minutes and it already skipped so much stuff and i was like what in the world is going on here so yeah that that really upset me because this series really deserves so much better and yeah i really recommend you guys to pick up this series and read it definitely this series is worth a read especially if i'm saying it's my favorite series i feel like that's saying something right but um yeah i would love to flick through the pages for you guys but since this is volume 17 that will be just too much spoiler but yeah enough of my ramble that is volume 17 of the promised neverland and the next series i see is the promised neverland again and that is volume 15 and this i love the cover because they have both of my favorite characters on here but this is the front cover the spine and the back and like i have done in many of my videos i have rambled on a lot about this series because it's my favorite this is a great one but yeah that is volume 15 with two of my favorite characters the next series i see okay you guys might be surprised but i actually picked up blue flag wow this volume is actually massive when i put it against a normal volume look at that Hey, so this is volume two of blue flag and this was on offer that's why i picked it up i have picked up volume one now and that's on its way to me hopefully i get it by next week but um yeah this is blue flag volume two so this is what the front cover looks like and it's so pretty i like the size of this manga series a lot like the feel of it is very nice and then the spine if you can see hopefully you can see oh it's upside down it's probably too bright sorry and then the back and yeah i'm really curious how this series is going to go but i know this series is kind of like a slice of life and i believe it's an lgbtq plus series do correct me if i'm wrong but i remember this series was in that section in forbidden planet and i'm looking forward to reading this i've heard so many good things about it so what i've heard about with blue flag is that this series is very relatable which i can't wait to read i do love slice of life and like series that i can resonate a lot with so i can get my feelings up in there you know i just like that I, that's just personally me that's why i can't wait to read goodnight pumpkin which is a series that is a slice of life and that is very deep with goodnight pumpkin even though i haven't read that series yet but i won't recommend that series to anyone that's going through like depression or something in their life that is going to just make them feel even more rock bottom and shit like if that makes sense um i need to stop saying if that makes sense a lot but um yeah i always say that but i know you guys understand me but um yeah that's a series that i'm looking forward to read as i'm that type of person where when i read a series i like to put all my feelings in there and oh i just can't wait that's why i'm looking forward to reading blue flag and see how that goes i will let you guys know how i feel about it in a wrap up there have been some series that i've been reading lately that i've been enjoying that i want to tell you guys about and also recommend you guys this series but yeah this is a series that i'm really looking forward to don't know much about like i said i don't know much about this series so i'm just gonna insert the synopsis here and i'm also gonna read the blurb for volume two to just get a general gist of what the series is about so love is already hard enough 
but it becomes a navigable maze for unassuming high school student Taichi Chinose and his shy classmate Fudaba Kuze when they begin to fall for each other after their same sex best friends have already fallen for them. So I guess the main characters are Taichi and Futaba and they are starting a relationship I'm guessing and both of their best friends like them as well but they're from the same sex. That's what from what I'm basing from this um, blurb by the way. But anyway, the school sports festival is coming up and Toma accepts the position of class 3A's cheer squad, captain on the condition that Fudaba and Taichi serve as his vice captains. Hoping to live up to Toma's faith in them, Taichi and Futaba diligently practice their squad's routine. But when the time comes to perform, Futaba hits a wall that threatens her very participation. Okay, this series, I don't know if I can relate, but maybe with the high school aspects and falling in love, maybe in some sorts i'm curious how this series is gonna go since it's super hyped i know this series does complete at eight volumes and volume six is actually currently out at the moment so um yeah i'm really excited to get my volume one so i can start reading this series and i'll definitely let you guys know how i feel about this series but yeah let me show you guys some of the pages and that is the first page of volume two I'm not going to show you guys too much in case there's too much spoilers, but just the first few pages. Oh, so hard to flip through the pages. But yeah, so you can get the gist of the art style. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, that is Blue Flag Volume 2. I only got this because it was at a good price. I think I got this for like £7.99 or £6.99. But um, yeah, the next series I see is also Blue Flag Volume 5, which I won't flip. Oh, this feels a lot nicer. What? Hmm, I don't know. I like this feeling of this um volume. It doesn't feel entirely matte like the Kodansha volumes that I have. But um, yeah, it's got a nice feel on the hand. I don't know if that makes sense. But um, yeah, this is Blue Flag Volume 5. I won't flip through any of the pages since it's quite late in the volumes already. But um, yeah, this is what the back looks like and the cover, the cover is just gorgeous, look at that. Yeah, let me know down below if you have read Blue Flag already, this is a series that I'm really excited to read. But yeah, that is Blue Flag Volume 5. So the next series I got in here, it looks like it's Yona the Dawn Volume 12. Um, so this series I have started reading Volume 1 a bit, um, but I'm still waiting to pick up more volumes so I can just binge read the series. But um, so far so good, like I said, I love the anime and I wish they had a season 2. But yeah, Yona looks so beautiful here. And like I said with my other like monk hauls I mentioned, Yona the Dawn, the back covers are just stunning. Like I like how they put a lot of effort with the back covers. Normally it's very simple as you can see with a lot of the volumes, but here there's a proper cover art, you know? And I really appreciate that. And this is a series that I'm really looking forward to reading. But yeah, if you don't know anything about Yona of the Dawn, I 100% recommend you guys to watch the anime, but this series is historical, it's political, political it's got romance and yeah i'm really intrigued how this series is going to go but like i said i'm so far behind so i don't know when i will be up to date with the series as i will have to just like spend all my money to be up to date which i'm not ready for um i'm ready to do that for kami summer kiss though but that series is just uh, i'm just gonna treat it as out of print because there's so many volumes that i know i wouldn't be able to get which is very disheartening but it is what it is i might just pick up the japanese volumes but with Yona the Dawn, I don't know what's making me not want to pick up all the volumes straight away. I don't know. There's something about it that I'm just not ready for the commitment yet. But I'm going to slowly pick up the volume slowly. And I do own volume one now, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can flick through some pages for you guys. Maybe like the first few. So you guys can see the art style. And that is the main guy character, Hark or Hack. However you want to say his name. And yeah, um... Yeah, I really liked him in the anime. But um, yeah, this is what some of the pages looks like. Let me know down below if you have the same feelings as me with Yona the Dawn as well. Definitely very daunting when it comes to picking up all the volumes. But yeah, let me know down below if you have this series already or you have read it. I'm curious to know your opinions. But yeah, that is volume 12 of Yona of the Dawn. So the next volume I see in here is another volume of Reckon of the Rose King and this is volume 9 and like I said the cover art is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if there's 
if the front pages are fine i think yeah i won't be able to show you anything other than the character page as the rest will be too spoilery definitely a series that i'm super invested in and yeah let's just look at the cover art once more look how pretty it looks and the spine and the back from the looks of this parcel it looks like i only have one more series to show you guys but i do have five volumes of it and if you don't know what it is if you can tell it is death note yes um probably some of you guys might be surprised that i don't have this series in my collection already i did want to pick up the box set however this was at such a good price let me see how much it was okay it doesn't say on my invoice but i think i got this for i think six pound 99 or seven pound 99 per a volume and i believe each volume costs around 10 pound and yeah so it costs nine pound 99 each for a black edition of death note and in the usa it costs 14 dollars 99 if you can see from the back but yeah this feels so interesting like the material is very interesting like the spine is gloss and the front and the back is matte but they do have spot glosses for the title and that but it's just it doesn't it's not the typical matte it's like a velvety matte i don't know how to explain it like you will know if you see this in store and if you touch it but yeah this is um volume 9 and 10 with this series there is one thing that i'm concerned about and that is that this series does have a lot of text in it speech bubbles and knowing me with my bad eyesight i don't know how i'm gonna deal with it but i'll let you guys know but that's from what i've heard back in the day like everyone have said like this series does have a lot of text in it but i'm gonna flip through some pages and see yeah it looks like <laughs> It does look very text heavy if you can see from the pages. There's lots of speech bubbles I know I'm probably flicking the pages backwards and this is the fifth volume So it is volume 9 and 10 so it might be too spoilery But this series is has been out for so long So I don't know what can I spoil because everything is already out there But um, yeah, that's the one thing that I'm concerned about is the text, but I love the anime series I love the Japanese movie adaptation literally I grew up with the Japanese movie and I remember watching the the trash taste podcast and one of the episodes connor did bash out the japanese movie adaptation and i was like my heart that was such a good movie like i love the casting i love the actor who played yagami Lai, and i love the actress who played misa as well like the japanese movie holds a dear place in my heart but yeah this is a volume five of the black edition definitely a very interesting material that they used but um i love how they blacked out the pages as well that looks very very cool and i'm glad i had this in my collection this will definitely look so awesome on my manga shelf when i do get one but yeah that is volume five and i do have volume one to four in here there's so many polystyrene nuggets or was it uh was it called packing peanuts that's it so this is what volume three of the black edition looks like and it has light at the front and yep the spine and the back i can't get over this material it feels very interesting like i don't know if it's luxurious or premium it just feels interesting that's all i can put it but um yeah let's flick through some pages uh the pages look so cool being blacked out sorry um but yeah oh actually i'm not going to show you this one because it looks like it's the interrogation um with misa and light so um if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about i might show you the earlier volumes but um yeah this is a great series that holds dearly in my heart i remember back in primary school this okay i'm gonna do a little story time basically little young me i think i was probably like eight or nine years old in primary school and um we were in the ict room and we had to do a powerpoint presentation of things that we liked and me i was obsessed with death note at that age and <laughs> I was literally obsessed with Death Note and especially when the movie came out I watched that movie religiously and um, funny thing was basically with the PowerPoint presentation everyone's doing things about their like and here's me doing a PowerPoint presentation 10 slides of Death Note I had pictures of light I have pictures of Misa I have pictures of everything the Death Note and I was like yeah living my life you know doing my PowerPoint presentation on things that I love right and then I remember there was a teacher assistant that came to like my desk and she was like Tiffany, what on earth are you doing? That's so horrible. And in my head I was thinking, what, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? But me at this age looking back, that's actually a big deal man. Think of it, little old me doing this PowerPoint presentation about this book that you can write names and people will die from it. That's the... <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a bit mad i will be concerned right and i remember like the teacher assistant reported me and i was thinking shit like once i get home i'm gonna get my ass whooped but nothing happened luckily but um yeah that's a fun story of me with my obsession with death note i absolutely love the movie i think i watched it probably like a hundred times i used to watch it religiously after school every halloween that was my go-to movie but yeah that's my little story time of how i fell in love with death note and how um yeah i nearly got my ass whooped from it but um yeah that is volume three of death note black edition hopefully i don't look too different but my camera literally cut me off and this is literally an hour or two later as you know my camera is crap but anyway um whilst my camera cut me off um i was meant to show you guys the oh all of these are flying everywhere i um, was meant to show you guys the rest of the death note volumes that i got so next is a volume two of the black edition and it looks so good i can't go over how good this looks you know and the back and this contains volume three and four definitely flicking through some pages here the text is a lot i'm curious how my concentration span is gonna be like you know reading this manga since there's a lot of text and know me i get distracted a lot anyway i feel like with this series i'm definitely gonna take my time with reading this since the volumes are very thick and quite text heavy and know me i am a slow reader anyway unless like i'm reading manga digitally then I can whiz through them but yeah when it comes to physical manga I'm so so slow I don't know why that's the case but I guess I'm just enjoying the moment right but uh yeah another thing that I noticed as well with um Death Note by the way this is volume 4 I believe and it contains volume 7 and 8 I noticed that quite a lot of people resell this series like a lot of the time if you look on ebay and depop a lot of the time people are selling all six of the black editions volumes so i'm curious why that is the case whether it's because the series might be just an og series or whether it's just overhyped or it's a classic i feel like this series but i don't know why a lot of people would resell this series because i feel like it looks so awesome in your collection but um yeah it makes me curious why people will resell it because i'm thinking is it not that good like is it not worth the hype that's what i'm thinking that i don't know i might i might be wrong personally i really like the characters and the plot and just the way the series goes um especially with the anime the japanese movie like i said before i was obsessed so it'll be nice to read it in the manga format since this is the original format that it came in and um yeah I'm, I'm curious because just seeing how many people resell it does make me think oh like is the manga not as good as what people think i i don't know i don't know that's just from my speculations but um yeah the last volume i have in this box literally it's just filled with all these um packing peanuts literally so much of them but um yeah i don't know what to do with them like are these even recyclable or do i have to throw them in a bin but i'll probably save them for like my like giveaways or something but yeah the last volume i have in here is um volume one of definite black edition which contains volume one and two and yeah definitely really glad i have this in my collection now literally look how cool it looks beside me but um, i'm gonna flick through some pages um since this is the first volume oh is that a color page oh that's so interesting normally color pages it comes in gloss but this is the actual paper of the manga that is so cool oh my god i thought this would be gloss for some reason but it's not it's actually the same paper as the manga that's very interesting you know i guess the reason why they did that is because to make sure like the edging is black i don't know um but yeah oh that's awesome yeah i'm really curious how the manga series is gonna go it is an og series and yeah let me know down below if you like death note or not because i would love to know your opinion but yeah that is it for the haul let me just show you guys everything and just stack everything up of what i got um so here is all the manga i got for this haul and definitely i'm excited to have all these ogs in my collection so it looks like we have reached the end of this manga haul and i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely in this haul i'm so happy that i got death note finally like how long have i been collecting now i think four or five years now and i still didn't have this series and i'm glad i have this in my collection now and it just looks awesome but yeah i'm definitely gonna take my time with reading this series since it's very text heavy but 
I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for my next upcoming monk haul, which will be a Blackwells one, which I'm super excited to unbox as I bought lots of good series that I know they are going to be my new favourites. But um, yeah, you guys can start guessing what I got. But um, stay tuned for that for I think even next week or the week after where I unbox it. But um, yeah, I am going to take my time with my unboxing. So it is what it is. But um, yeah, please give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And also stay tuned for the giveaway. Like I just can't wait to just give back to the community and just like say a big thank you. You know, you guys are so lovely and supportive. Like it means a lot. And yeah, I'm just so thankful that I create this channel and we have 3,000 friends that we can share manga suggestions and all that stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye.